Consecration Day Total Consecration to Jesus through Mary According to St. Louis de Montfort, at the end of the 33-day preparation, we should go to confession and receive Holy Communion with the intention of giving ourselves to Jesus Christ as slaves of love by the hands of Mary. After Communion, we should recite the Consecration Prayer. We ought to write it or have it written and sign it the same day the consecration is made. More from St. Louis de Montfort. It would be well on this day we should pay some tribute to Jesus Christ and our Blessed Lady, either as a penance for our past unfaithfulness to the vows of baptism or as a testimony of dependence on the dominion of Jesus and Mary. This tribute should be one in accordance with your fervour, such as a fast, a mortification, an alms, or a candle. If but a pin is given in homage and given with a good heart, it will be enough for Jesus, who loves only the good will. Once a year at least, on the same day, we should renew the consecration, observing the same practices during the three weeks. They might also once a month, or even once a day, renew all they have done in these few words. I am all thine, and all that I have belongs to thee, O my sweet Jesus, through Mary, thy holy mother. Act of Consecration Prayer Total Consecration to Jesus through Mary To be prayed on a Marian feast day, the day after completing the preparatory 33-day total consecration to Jesus through Mary, readings and prayers according to the method of St. Louis de Montfort. Print this prayer, solemnly pray it with devotion and sign it on the same day the consecration is made and renew it on the same day each year thereafter. Act of Consecration Total Consecration to Jesus through Mary by St. Louis de Montfort O eternal and incarnate wisdom, O sweetest and most adorable Jesus, true God and true man, only Son of the Eternal Father and of Mary, always Virgin, I adore thee profoundly in the bosom and splendours of thy Father during eternity, and I adore thee also in the virginal bosom of Mary, thy most worthy mother, in the time of thine incarnation. I give thee thanks for that thou hast annihilated thyself, taking the form of a slave in order to rescue me from the cruel slavery of the devil. I praise and glorify thee, for that thou hast been pleased to submit thyself to Mary, thy holy mother, in all things, in order to make me thy faithful slave through her. But, alas, ungrateful and faithless as I have been, I have not kept the promises which I made so solemnly to thee in my baptism. I have not fulfilled my obligations. I do not deserve to be called thy child, nor yet thy slave. And as there is nothing in me which does not merit thine anger and thy repulse, I dare not come by myself before thy most holy and august majesty. It is on this account that I have recourse to the intercession of thy most holy mother, whom thou hast given me for a mediatrix with thee. It is through her that I hope to obtain of thee contrition, the pardon of my sins, and the acquisition and preservation of wisdom. Hail then, O Immaculate Mary, living tabernacle of the divinity, 
where the eternal wisdom willed to be hidden and to be adored by angels and by men. Hail, O Queen of Heaven and Earth, to whose empire everything is subject which is under God. Hail, O sure refuge of sinners, whose mercy fails no one. Hear the desires which I have of the divine wisdom, and for that end receive the vows and offerings which in my lowliness I present to thee. I a faithless sinner renew and ratify today in thy hands the vows of my baptism I renounce forever Satan his pomps and works and I give myself entirely to Jesus Christ the incarnate wisdom to carry my cross after him all the days of my life and to be more faithful to him than I have ever been before in the presence of all the heavenly court I choose thee this day for my mother and mistress I deliver and consecrate to thee as thy slave my body and soul my goods both interior and exterior, and even the value of all my good actions, past, present, and future, leaving to thee the entire and full right of disposing of me and all that belongs to me, without exception, according to thy good pleasure, for the greater glory of God in time and in eternity. Receive, O benignant virgin, this little offering of my slavery in honour of and in union with that subjection which the eternal wisdom deigned to have to thy maternity, in homage to the power which both of you have over this poor sinner, and in thanksgiving for the privileges with which the Holy Trinity has favoured thee. I declare that I wish henceforth as thy true slave to seek thy honour and to obey thee in all things o admirable mother present me to thy dear son as his eternal slave so that as he has redeemed me by thee by thee he may receive me o mother of mercy grant me the grace to obtain the true wisdom of god and for that end Receive me among those whom thou lovest and teachest, whom thou leadest and nourishest and protectest as thy children and thy slaves. O faithful virgin, make me in all things so perfect a disciple, imitator and slave of the incarnate wisdom, Jesus Christ, thy Son, that I may attain by thine intercession and by thine example to the fullness of his age on earth and of his glory in heaven amen sign your name and date it 